All right, time to talk about Smitty. Smitty, Smitty Plus. Smitty is the funniest YouTuber that I have ever seen. And he's the funniest YouTuber ever. This is just a fact, okay? And if you don't agree with this, it's fine, but facts are facts. Now, why do I think that? Well, one, I think that because I go on vidIQ. I can even do that right now. Go on vidIQ. And <coughs> I feel like he's like as good as Mr. Beast right, right now as far as SEO. But literally from my channel, he is one of the top searched I'm showing up for the top for the top searches of Smitty. I made a video a long time ago, probably around I want to say how, how how long has this been published? October 30th of 2020, right? This video has gotten well, actually since published, let's see how much it's gotten. Since published, it has gotten, hold on, since uploaded 71, 76,000 views. Now, it's gaining 426 every 48 hours. And the, the top search is 82, sorry, is YouTube search. The, the top traffic source is YouTube search. The second is Shorts feed. <coughs> and it actually did not start going in this direction until like around January of 20, or February of, 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 uh, or actually, sorry, March of 2022, right? I've gained 182 subscribers from, from this, this video. And I want to say that I love Smitty. I haven't watched his content actually in a while, but he is one of the very few YouTubers that can actually pull off an, 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 an like an actual avatar, like especially gaming, you know? There's a lot of gaming YouTubers out there that have like avatars or that have had avatars and now have switched to like their own personal brand. Smitty's like one of the only people out there that I know on YouTube that actually can like do that and still be very good at what he does. Smitty Plus gained over a million followers in like less than two years. If you are joining the podcast up to this point, Please feel free to leave a like. It really does help us get to the biggest audience possible and be able to get you guys the best games possible. Thank you very much, and let's get back to the episode. Now, there are some of you that are like, that's not that, that big of a deal. There are people that do not gain 1,000 followers in two years. Or 2,000, or 100,000. There are people that... Smitty, Smitty Plus is a YouTube channel that is pretty much just like the boys playing on stream and that's like stream highlights it's a stream highlight channel and that 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 channel gained over two mil actually actually hold on let me let, 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 me, let me check it now it, it's been a while since i've watched this content because i've been so damn busy but smitty plus let's let's take a look so smitty his main channel has 5.7 million sub sub subscribers <laughs> Smitty Plus has 2.38 million. The channel of Smitty Plus was was created in 2020. So that means in two years, he has gained over 2 million followers. Close close to three. Not really, but still two, two and a half. That is insane. Now, he did do some advertising on, on his main channel. I, I will give, give him that. But the, the rate that he was gaining subscribers was insane, okay? I would watch a video, and i see his subscriber count go from, like, 1.2 to, like, 1.5 in, like, a couple of weeks. It was crazy. Like, Smitty Plus is a genius idea. Like, there are so many YouTubers doing it, but I feel like Smitty does it so much better. And I don't know what it is. I don't know how he does it. I could not tell you what it is. But it's just so entertaining. Like, you know what it is? I actually, I think I know what it is. I can't say I don't because I've been analyzing this for, for, for a while now. And I feel like this is like a whole gaming concept. And I and I, and I I love Smitty Smit Smit for it. I'll talk about Russian Badger another day. I think Russian Badger is the best YouTuber on YouTube, hands down. No matter what you say, Mr. Beast is good. But I think Russian Badger is way, way more creative, especially in, the, especially in the gaming space. But the reason why... 
Smitty Plus is doing so well, at least in my opinion. This is also pri- 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 facts. Don't care. A- anyway, I feel like that it's just he is funny and so are the friends. The interactions that they have are just funny. And something that I can compare to this is something like Vanoss Gaming, right? And even like Tyler and like Wildcat and everyone in those in that kind of group. This is not me talking shit, but this is just something that I've noticed watching their content over the past co- couple of years. Like, Vanoss was on track to be the best, if not the fastest growing YouTuber on YouTube. Like, he was going to beat Mr. Beast and Pew- PewDiePie, but then he ended up stopping around, I think I think he's at like 20 million now. Maybe 20 is 5 million. Uh, I, I'd be surprised if, if, if he hit 30. To, yeah, he's at twenty five million. I probably, pro- I guarantee you, he probably does. He probably loses more followers than than, than he gains, at, at this point. But um, Smitty, the interactions are just so much more fun. And the reason why I say that is because in Vanos Gaming, what I noticed after a long time of watching them is the friend group. Vanos wasn't really that funny. He he had his jokes. Don't get me wrong. He had his he had his jokes. And the, again, it's not me talking shit. It's me just analyzing. Okay. Vanoss Gaming was funny because the friends were funny. Vanoss was funny at times, and I, if I ever met Vanoss in real life, I would just be like, dude, this is not me talking shit, 100%. This is me just analyzing you. Like, you are funny at times, but, like, the majority of your videos, other people are funny. And I feel like that can only get you so far. So if you play with friends right now, like, even if they're other YouTubers, and they're funnier than you are, you're going to be just another person in that group, is my point. So you want to stand out, which I think Smitty does stand out. Smitty has also videos that he does by himself, which are funny. Like, they're just funny. So, he himself is a funny YouTuber. He is uh, he is one of the funniest person in, in the group, which also makes it so that, like, it, the, the content is more engaging and the the whole, the whole like, um, what, what am I looking for? The atmosphere is just better. It's just more fun to play. And actually be able to enjoy your time there. So that's that's why I think that the Smitty Plus channel grew up grew so fast because everyone is just funny all together. Like they're they bounce off each other with jokes, being funny, keeping the content fresh. The editing is also very good, but I also want to make sure that you know that like it, it's it's just everything comes together so well that that's why I think Smitty's the funniest YouTuber because he just knows what to do. He just he just has a and this could be just natural gift I don't know but let let's let's take a look at a video and then I can kind of analyze it and tell you like why it's so funny <coughs> like just look at these look at these thumbnails look at these thumbnails they're like so I feel like 2010 but like they're so they're still very good like they're just the lighting's good he has the he has the border around him it's it's amazing but anyway this is like now we're going like getting into YouTube stuff so. I want to I want to kind of go into this in, in as far as gaming, and then I'm I'm gonna I, I'm eventually going to give you guys like a, a whole f- like reason how you can actually do this too. You know, if you're in gaming too. Let's get the beetle voice things on here. or a spider. I can never tell. It's a spider. He's coming right towards us. Oh, he's coming right towards us, fellas. He sees <laughs> one of you. Maybe he's no. Definitely I'm not smells angry. one of you. We're fine. Oh yeah, we're we're chill. Just nobody move. I think uh, I think we'll Whoa. need to oh, kill dude, some moved, Oh, there's two, there's two, there's two, there's two. Oh, there's he's walking towards me. Hey, he Listen to me. this. Listen to this. It's hilarious. Dead. He hit me through the banana. There's a flaming. I would never play this game. Never. I probably would never play this game, but he makes me want to play it. And he makes me want to watch this video. Sword here. Oh, Give another ravine. <laughs> and another black ox beetle. Actually, if I stay here, then. Nope. Okay. <laughs> what are we trying to make again? We're trying to make black uh, ox hammer. Pull your damn torch if you thing. have a goddamn left hand available. Pull out a torch. Oh, hey. Termite king. All right. I'm coming back. <laughs> All right. There's the next boss fight, going, I guess. Uh-huh. It's It's hilarious. It is, it is just so enter- entertaining that it, it's just, it's so hard to look away. It's almost like a car accident. It's just so hard to look away. I enjoy every bit of his content. And I, I don't know what it is. His, oh, okay. 
Dr. Disrespect, thank you. I see either one of those. It makes me so happy to watch this. Oh, no. Dang. You had a Google Doc. Yeah, man, I was doing research. <laughs> this is a group project. Shut up! Fuck you. <laughs> And the other thing, too, is the responses that he has to oh, the jokes. The, the responses that, that he has to their jokes, then the responses that they have to his jokes. That, like, makes it work so well. That's why he's so good. And, like, the fact that he's in gaming, it's just, it amazes me how he's made it this far. No, I can't say it amazes me because that, that, would, that would imply something neg negative. It, it, it doesn't surprise me that he's made it, th that he's made it this far. And with two channels. He is one of the creators that I think has really meshed the paper bag, like, milk carton character with himself. Like, if you see that and you know who Smitty is, like, you know that that's Smitty. Like, you're like, they, they, the way the way that, that he, he animates it, or maybe his editors animate it with the different facial expressions, like, when he's talking, it, like, it makes it feel like it's actually real. Like, it's actually him talking. It's perfect. I don't know what it is. There are some other people that can do this well, but I feel like that Smitty is the one that stands out the most to me. As far as funny, as far as vi video production, as far as just gaming in general. Like, he is one of the very few YouTubers that I could sit down, watch any video of his, and enjoy it. Like, let's take Tim the Tapman, for, for instance. He's a little bit different, obviously. He's got his own character. He kind of has going, got his own brand. But my point is, is that, like, he, Tim the Tapman is enjoyable by himself, but if I feel like if I don't like a game that he's playing or I don't really watch or even play the game that he's playing, I won't watch the video. Like, I don't really want to watch his videos on, um, what is it called? CSGO. I don't really play CSGO. I've played it. I don't mind it, but like, I don't. I'm not going to go out of my way to like be like, oh, Tim's streaming. I'm going to go watch C CSGO. Like, if he's playing Warzone 2 or like Warzone, I'll go watch it just to kind of see what he's doing. But like, I played the game, so I like, I, I want to put like this game, I'll watch him because like this is pure entertainment. This that's what it is. That might be the secret to all this whole this whole thing. Like, you need pure entertainment whenever you're going to make a video. Like, you need to be entertaining. You need to make the make the video, no matter what the topic is. It has to be interesting, and I and I, and I think that's where Smitty and where even Russian Badger, which we'll get into in next uh, like another po podcast e episode, um, why they are so good at doing like just general things. Like Mr. Beast is good at doing certain things, but like when you when, uh, that's comparing apples to oranges in some cases. But if you're looking at like gaming and how many games there are on the market, indie, tri AAA doesn't matter. If you can make a video and have people just watch it and it be enjoyable, you are truly a very, very good uh, content creator. And it amazes me how how Smitty can do this. Like, especially in gaming. It's it's insane. How, how can Smitty just make every game that he plays enjoyable? And it's that's the that's the real value behind what I'm trying to say today, and why he's the funniest YouTuber is because he can make he can play any game, and make it fun, any game. Eventually, I'd love to sponsor him. To be honest with you, so if Smitty if Smitty does get get a hold of this, I'd love to sponsor you at least once in this whole time. I'm gonna be honest with you because the this is amazing. Like this is this content is is probably the best on YouTube, and I'm not just saying that. I mean, I have watched. A lot of his videos, I haven't, I, again, I haven't, I haven't watched them in, in quite some time, but like watching him going from like a Warzone 2 video to a Warzone video to uh, a Termite Trouble to um, whatever the hell this game is to <coughs> like a third party indie developer game that I've never heard of going to Roblox, going to GTA, like there, there is a wide, vast majority of things that he has done. And it's just like, I would watch all of them because they are so entertaining. That's where Vanoss Gaming kind of, for me, stopped. And that's that's where I think Vanoss Gaming kind of stopped really working. Because 
they kind of just started doing the same shit over and over again. They found a formula, and that's what they they just keep doing it, and it's not really entertaining any anymore. That's like 2010, and that's why they're they've you know he's stagnated for growth. Like I think Tyler and all them are still kind of growing, but Vanoss was on track, as I said, to be the highest grossing, highest growing YouTuber out there. And then this, and, and then and then all of a sudden he just disappeared off the face of the earth. Like I watched so many documentaries about how great he was and about how great he was going to become, and then all of a sudden he stopped at 25 million. And I was like, well, what happened? And then I started realizing after watching his content for so long, I was like, he just does the same shit over and over again. That's all he does. He just does the same stuff over and over again. He found a formula and it worked at the time, but it's like, that's not how YouTube works. And that's not how content creation works. You have to just keep going, which is what Smitty's been doing. He's growing. He's doing better. He's playing different games. He's making those games funny. He's doing, he's focusing on his core content, which is just being funny. And the entertainment value, and that's what he does. He figures out a way to make it entertaining. I'm I'm gonna assume, which is what I started doing, is he is he pretty much takes games that aren't fun and he doesn't play them, which is what I which is what I was doing for 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 a while. You know that's why I stopped playing Warzone two because I don't find it to be fun. Like yeah, you guys may want to see it, but it's like I just fucking I fucking hate it. I'm gonna be honest with you, I hate it, and I love. That you guys love it, but at the same time, it's like I can't always play it. That's why I stopped playing it for a while, and that's kind of why I got I got kind of bored with this stuff because it just it just gets boring. You do the same stuff over and over again. And I feel like that's where Vanoss Gaming kind of stopped, um, you know, and that's that's kind of where that's kind of where Russian Badger, as I said, and Smitty kind of stand out. They they they've created their own little world and their own little like just mechanism of just cranking out good content because it's just funny. And it, and it works no matter no matter what they do, you know his Smitty his regular Smitty channel kind of like to me has been not like dead but like it kind of just doesn't really do it for me anymore to be honest. Um, but I I think the core value that you can really take out of this, the really core thing is that you should if you're ever making content you really should stick to not i know niche is stupid but if you're sticking to something make sure that you stick to something that actually you enjoy doing and that's that's what i think he's he's doing vanos may enjoy that stuff but if you want to get views which again vanos might be very happy getting a million or two video of views of video which is fine there's nothing wrong with that but you know if you want to grow and you want to grow fast like that's you know that's where that's where you that's this is where you have to shine you have to pick a you have to pick a topic and you really have to run with it and make sure that you're really enjoying that that topic and really making it your your very best on on every video. And that's that's what I feel like Schmitty does, which he just always provides the quality that that we need. And you know, it it just it just it makes me so happy being able to like see this kind of stuff. He was one of the reasons why I started to kind of do YouTube. And, you know, I, you kind of explore and whatever else and you kind of figure out what you're doing along the way. But he's found it and that's what he's that's what he's doing. No matter what game he plays, no matter what no matter what environment you stick him in, he's going to be able to make you a funny video. And that's the best part about this kind of stuff. You have to you have to be able to do that. And I'll, I'll play for you the actual video that I was taught that I was playing uh, before that I um, let me see if I can view on YouTube. This is the short that, that that I made. This is probably the best joke. <laughs> Police in America be like, <laughs> Yeah, well, you tried to beat me when I was down before, and I will never forget that. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man, but this Smitty joke got me dying, dying on the floor. I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe it's because he's Canadian. <laughs> he's Canadian. So the reason why... I made that video and that scene specifically. I mean, obviously at the time it was hilarious. I, I literally, I, I could not stop laughing at, at that joke because it, you know, at the time there was a lot of police brutality and BLM and stuff like that. And, um, you know, there's always, there's always, you got to laugh in, in, in certain scenarios, but, it, but, but anyway, that, that scene, that scene really made me laugh because it was just, it was just one of the funniest times and one of the funniest jokes that I think he's, they've ever made. He's resisting, like, you know, he's, like, sitting there tasing him on the ground. He's just sitting there tasing him. And he's just, like, and, and well, I mean, prior prior to what he was saying in the video, like, you know, you were you were beating me while I was down before. That was a different part of the video where he was actually physically, like, beating the crap out of him while he was already down. 
So it was even funnier then. But um, that that's for the con- that's for the context. Uh, he was tasing him, and then it's like he's like he's resisting. You know, like police in America be like, you know, because that's literally that for a while there. Like that's all the videos that were online. It was just like people talking about how you know they're like they're like you know like he you know. The video would never show you context. Like, you know, there's no context to to the video. It was always just like somebody just getting shot or beaten to death or whatever. You're like, okay, so what happened prior to that? You know? And, I mean, I always found it to be funny. Obviously, the act was like, you know, holy shit, why are we doing this? But at the same time, I'm like, well, what happened before that? You know, you see somebody getting beaten down. It's like, I mean, they like, like the cops didn't just get out of the car and just start beating the crap out of that guy. You know what I mean? So like they they're just like, all right, this is the guy. We're gonna beat the shit out of this dude because it's fun. You know, like they're, they're like he looks like the asshole or he looks like the guy that needs to get a beat down today. You know, like that didn't happen. So regardless of that, I think it's funny because it's just like that's pretty much what we were the time that we were in about, you know, two two or three years ago. Uh, almost three now at this point. You know, and it's like that's all the videos that were online was just that. So this this made fun of it in like that little segment, but it was just hilarious for the time. Yeah, he's resisting. He's like, he's already sitting down there tasing him, you know, or you're like, you know, you're beating him down with a, with like a fucking baseball bat. And he's like, he's resisting, you know, yeah, <laughs> he's running. <laughs> he's like down on the ground already with his hand behind his back. He's like, yeah, he's, you know, they're shooting him already. He's resisting, you know? So <laughs> it, that's where my mind goes. I'm fucked up. Yeah, whatever. But you know, that's, that's, that's where my hum, hum, humor is. And you know, maybe that's a little fucked up, but you know, that's just the way I am. So sorry, not, not sorry. That's just who I am. Um, that, that video, this video has got me a lot of views and you know, it's just really funny. It's just a very funny, very funny moment in, in one of his videos. And I'm pretty sure that might've been a main Smitty video. I don't really remember. I think it might've been a main Smitty video, but I stand by the title of Smitty is the funniest YouTuber. He, he definitely changed a lot and, uh, of like my ideals as far as like comedy and, um, you know, what you can really do. Cause it's like, you know, sticking to one game is also very tough. You know, when, whenever it comes to uh, making con- content in general, you know, just sticking to one game is hard. It, it's, you know, especially if you don't really like it. That's why, again, that's why I made that Dr. Disrespect episode of him going crazy is because, you know, after a while you play the same game over and over again, if you're not really having fun, it just gets, it just gets really boring and it gets really, really stress, stressful. And th- that's kind of what happened with multiplayer. And that's kind of what happened with Warzone. And I think that's the same thing that happened with doc and even Tim and, and you know, Nick definitely just got fed up with call of duty, like, especially with all the glitches and all the hackers and shit. It was just very stressful, you know, and no, and I am not a God tier player. Like I'm not like, you know, I'm not as good as Nick. I'm not as good as Tim. Like, I mean, actually I probably am better than Tim and even possibly as good as Nick, especially in my prime. But, um, like I, you know, I keep my KD low and I'm not trying to say that just because of whatever, like I do legitimately try to keep my key, my, my KD low. So I don't run into hackers and, um, you know, I mean, because I also play objective game types too. Like I'm always an objective person. And for a lot of my Warzone videos, I was always killing myself to spectate. So it's like my KD in Warzone was pretty bad. Like when I actually tried, I'd get like, you know, eight, nine kills and then die. Or like, I'd get like, you know, 10 kills or whatever and die. Like my PR, what was my PR? I think it was actually in Zombie Royale too. My PR, I think in Warzone was like around like thirty five or something like that or thirty, and that was like one time. It was like a one time thing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dropping twenty bombs every game. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm dropping like maybe five, ten or so kills. You know, depending on how many, you know, how many squads my teammates push, how many teams I push or whatever, or even if you're playing, you know, like. Warzone solos was so easy to get kills. I don't know what everybody complains about. I, I like I my like minimum kills in solos was like six kills almost every time. So I would always go positive. But that's that's also where I would also do my solo my spectating vi- vi- videos. So that that was where like my KD was always crap because I would just kill myself like twice. You know what I mean? So, um, but a lot of times my my KD is low because I because I go for objectives. Like if I'm playing multiplayer, I'm always going like I'm always playing domination or something. I I need objectives. I cannot maybe maybe that's like a like like a deeper psychological thing, which is also very well possible. But I always need like a, like an objective. I I can't just play a game and have no objective. It just it really I can't do it. I don't like team deathmatch. I I have always hated team deathmatch. I've I've loved Search and Destroy for for a while, but then when everybody started camping and then you'd be the first one dead, it was so fucking stupid and, and frustrating. So that was pretty much why I 
would not play and I would just kind of just get you I would just play the objectives I would never play the uh like just for kills but sometimes in the objectives I would be able to get the kills so like you know in the objective game like if we're defending like obviously you're defending it so yeah you could get the kills or you know if we're, when we're attacking I'm always the first one to try to go to go and attack it like if B needs to be captured I'm the first one there trying to be the first one there I'm always the first one to die because I'm trying to go to B you know you get like half the team trying 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 to cap A to get like a simple, you know, what, um, like what a hundred points or whatever the hell it is to capture a flag. Now it's like, dude, that doesn't do anything for you. It's actually fifty. I I, I think it's less now because if you capture a flag, I think it's like a hundred or two hundred or something like like that. And then if it's neutral, which usually when you start the it's neutral, then it's like, then it's fifty. It's like half the points or whatever, or like one hundred or something. So. It's like you wouldn't even get the full amount of points just for sitting on A. So I'm like, that's a waste of time. Let's just go to B, you know. And um, yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much the reason why <laughs> I don't really like playing games that like like Call of Duty anymore because it's just they're just not fun. And I I think that Smitty is just really very good at making the non fun games fun to watch at least. And sometimes even I'll even play. I used to. I remember I used to watch his gameplays, like on Warzone Two or War, or Warzone, um, and it was like I would just want to play. And I'm just sitting there. Same same thing with Tim. I'd always I always watch it. and I always want to play it. And it was you know because it was they were having so much fun. But then it's like I, I go to have fun and like the meta weapon destroys me. All right, bye. Uh oh, she's stuck. She can't get out. You can go under it. Go ahead. Just don't don't you dare knock it over. Don't you dare knock it over. Oh, she's so good. Good job. Good job, booby. All right. Anyway. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, I think Smitty is the funniest YouTuber. And I do think that the Russian Badger is the best YouTuber, which we'll get into in a different po podcast episode. Um, Smitty, if you're watching this, great job, man. Keep it up. And if you're not watching it, fuck. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I see if there's anything else that I wanted to talk about. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I, I think we're good on this episode. I, I, I think we've really touched all the bases as far as Smitty and as far as all of his stuff and just making sure that you guys know that if you wanted to do something like, like, like this, if you want to actually create content, like the best way to do it is to just pick something and go and go with it at, at first. And I don't recommend that you stick with a game. If you want to grow fast, that's one of the things that you want to do. If you want to grow fast, you are definitely going to want to stick to a game and just play it. Like, that's what I did when, when I first started. When, when I started this, I started playing Warzone, made only Warzone. I ventured into, like, Apex. I ventured into, you know, um, what else did I ventured to? Cold War, a little bit of Vanguard. But um, I ventured mostly just doing War, War, Warzone. And then I started to do Warzone 2. That started to grow the channel a little bit, got some views. But, you know... Don't do this for the views. If you're doing this, don't don't do it for for the views. Do it to make somebody laugh. Do it do it to you know make the person laugh that's watching your video. You know that's the thing that you're really gonna want to do. You're not gonna want to sit here and um you know just like have no plan. You know you're gonna want to make somebody laugh. You're gonna want to make everything better for that person. So at the end of the day. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys for, for watching. If you have not already, please do like the video. Please do subscribe to the podcast because there's so much more coming to this channel. Games, game development, ga gaming of those games, and probably even just like the occasional ga gaming and, sh and shit talking, which is kind of what I like to do on, uh, on occasions. That's just who I am. And if you do enjoy the content, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Share with your friends. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And this will probably be a Sunday episode, so... Happy Sunday and have a great rest of your week.